What's up everyone? I just patched up my chimney with some vinyl mortar by Quickcrete and I'll show you just how I did it. For this project you'll need the vinyl mortar, a wire brush, a soft brush, a pointing trowel, a flat trowel, a float, a spray bottle, and some high temperature caulk. I have all of these listed down in the description below with links. The reason I'm doing this myself is because I got a quote for $4,000 for someone else to do it. So just once I was hoping that it would be better than I expected, but as always, it's not. It's just what I expected. It's pretty bad. We are in the mountains at the Airbnb property. Today, we're going to take care of this. Begin by removing any of the loose material. Use a hammer and chisel if you have to. So I brushed off all the loose stuff, kind of flaked it off, and now you, you'll you use a uh, wire brush here. Got this for like eight bucks off Amazon. Then you just come in here, get rid of all of that mold that's on there and all this loose stuff and just have at it. Now take a soft brush to remove all of the dust and dirt so you have a great bonding surface. Now this is really important, but you need to wet all of your entire surface area that you're gonna be applying the vinyl concrete to. So I have this little pump gun. I need to pump it up first. Okay, a little slower now. Apply the mortar to the damaged areas. In my case, it's the entire chimney. Use the pointing trowel mainly for cracks, then use a flat trowel to really smooth it out. After drying for about 15 minutes, go over it with the wet float to really smooth it out and move around the concrete to fill out all the imperfections. Keep the float clean with a bucket of water. So after I applied this quick crate, you want to keep it damp for as long as you can. Even if you have to come up here all night, which I didn't do, but I sprayed it for a couple of hours. The longer that it stays damp and wet, the more time it has to actually adhere and bond to the old concrete on your chimney. So it is vital to do that. There is another option. You can wrap your chimney in a tarp after you spray it, and that way it holds in that moisture. I didn't do that because it was drizzling that night right after I put this on there, so it was just the perfect amount of humidity and moistness to keep this thing bonded and really well put together. Sunlight here, but I just wanted to go through the crown part of this here, or the, where the flute is at. So you can see a gap right there. That's a no-go. You do want a gap when you're putting mortar because you want an expansion gap. So you could use like sill foam or something like that. Eventually we're gonna put a high temperature caulking around this so it seals it up and it can expand and contract as needed. It was getting really dark and I worked on this all night, but now it's time to apply some high temperature caulk around the chimney flute. The 
So the quickcrete has to dry for 24 hours in 40 degree weather or hotter. Obviously it's not perfect, but it is waterproof and nobody can see it except for me and, well, YouTube. YouTube? YouTube. You too, YouTube. Okay, real quick, let's recap the steps. You scrape off large chunks, brush with the wire brush, then brush with a soft brush, wet the area you are applying mortar to, apply the mortar, and then go over it with the foam float to smooth it out. Thank you all so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're a professional mason, instead of dropping insults down below in the comments because you've done this for a hundred years, drop some knowledge down below, help me out, help out the fellow viewers. I'll pin something to the top. Guys, hit that subscribe button so you follow along with the rest of this journey. Smash that like button as it is a free way for you to show your support. I'll see you on the next one.